Hey guys, Tarantula Sam here and welcome to my channel. For this video, I'm going to be putting together just a DIY uh, molt display and uh, it's just gonna be a real cheap project, but I think it'll look nice when it's done. We'll find out, I guess. <laughs> um, and for this video, I've got a little helper over here. So if you hear some background noise, don't mind him. He's uh, helping me out in the background here. Um, so here I have four molts that I was able to take from uh, four of my spiders before they uh, crumpled them up and I was able to uh, uh, dry them in such a way that uh, I think they would look nice in a display. Um, here I've got my Brachypelma vagans, my Brachypelma homori, my Pteranoculus murinus, and my Postlotheria rufolata. Um, so those are the molts I'm going to be using. This background that they're on is just cardstock. Um, and uh, what I did with this was I traced it from a frame that I bought from the dollar store. I just bought this cheap frame from the dollar store. Now when I picked this out, I picked one with a little bit of depth here and in the back as well. So I'd be able to put it over the tarantula molts without it crushing them. Um, so it's almost kind of like a really just thin shadow box type of deal. Um, so I picked the one with the most depth I could find. Um, and then what I did was I took all the inside parts out. I'm just going to throw this stuff away and uh, I'll probably you maybe use this on the back. We'll see. I haven't decided yet. Um, and then I took the frame and the glass in there and I actually used a, a strong adhesive to glue the glass into the frame. I just picked this adhesive up at uh, the hardware store. Any kind of adhesive that'll bond to glass will work just fine. Um, so I just put a few dots around and then press the uh, glass in and it seems to be sticking in there pretty strong. Um, so this will go over the top of uh, the tarantula molts and then uh, I'm going to use something a little bit more sturdy than the cardstock because it's too flimsy on the back. So maybe with just a really thin board or something. I haven't decided yet but I'll let you know. So that will go on there with some other uh, um, sturdier background. But what I'm going to do now these are just laid on here, they haven't been attached yet, uh, is I'm going to attach the labels and the molts to the cardstock. Um, the labels I just made from Walmart Instaprint, uh, it was just a 4 by 6 29 cents. I made the labels just on my computer and then printed them out. Um, I don't know how much better it looks than if I would just print it on a laser jet, but that's what I decided to do. So now I'm going to go ahead and attach the molts and the labels and uh, then I will be back. Okay guys, so now I, what I did was I just glued down these labels. Uh, I was gonna try and glue down the molts as well. I used Elmer's glue, uh, just plain old Elmer's glue for the labels, just a little bit so it doesn't bubble. Um, and I tried to use a dab uh, on this one for the molt, but it just was sliding around and I don't think it's gonna hold very well. So what I'm actually gonna do is just use a dab or two of hot glue uh, on uh, like maybe the feet diagonal from each other and uh, see how that works um, and uh, then I'll get back and show you. Okay guys, so I got the molts uh, glued onto the uh, piece of cardstock here. I used uh, just a tiny little dab of hot glue on a few of the feet. I didn't do all the feet. I did about three or four feet uh, of the spider on uh, each one. Um, and I have uh, an idea of how I'm going to finish this up here. So I've got a piece of book board here. I painted, just spray painted the back black. And I am going to uh, use craft bond to it here. This cardstock to this. Um, this this craft bond aerosol glue. Now uh, this piece of book board I actually got from a thrift store hardcover book. I just cut it out. Uh, you can buy book board. I know it a lot of... Uh, like craft stores though, just blank book board. Um, and then once this is glued to that, I'm gonna glue the frame over the top of the whole thing um, with this E6000 uh, it, industrial strength adhesive. This is also the same uh, adhesive that I used to glue the glass to the inside of the frame. Um, so that is my plan and uh, once I get that done, I will, uh, this is the original picture frame back, cut out this piece here, I think, 
and then just use hot glue to hot glue it onto the back of the book board. So uh, again, use a craft bond to glue cardstock with the molts to here. Um, use this E6000 to glue the frame over the top of everything else, and then I'm going to use hot glue to glue just this standing tab to the back of this once it's all dry. So um, once I get that put together, I will. that should be the finished product, and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, guys, so here's the uh, final product. I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. I didn't uh, end up changing anything further um, in the way that I made it. Uh, and I think it ended up pretty nice. Um, I did uh, glue this uh, piece on the back so uh, I can stand it up. And uh, I ended up actually making a second one as well with uh, one of my chromatopelma standard pubescence um, molts as well. And uh, with this one, I included a picture and a little description uh, aside from... Uh, um, just the tag um, so and and these have a little depth to them um, I uh, mounted those on foam core and I just used the craft bond to do that uh, and have those put in there as well so I'm pretty happy with the way these turned out and I uh, just wanted to show you these uh, let me know what you guys think and uh, I may uh, end up doing a few more I think these are kind of cool so anyways thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time